Tonight's Health Watch. Hip problems from childhood can show up much later in life. Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us a new way that doctors are preserving patients' hips, hoping to avoid the need for a later hip replacement. Hip dysplasia is one of the leading causes of hip arthritis. It's a condition where the ball and socket joint of the hip do not form properly in utero or throughout childhood. Currently, every newborn in the U.S. is examined for hip dysplasia, but if not properly diagnosed and treated, hip problems can arise years or decades later. Now doctors are preserving patients' hips and reducing their need for a later hip replacement. 41-year-old Dot Lamshead Roche works out to keep her bones healthy and strong, but growing up, that was not always easy. As a baby, Dot was diagnosed with hip dysplasia. They caught mine when I was about 14 months when I was trying to walk. Surgery and a full body cast helped correct Dot's hip dysplasia, but 40 years later, Dot's hips were bothering her so much that even walking became a hassle. My quality of life was such that I was no longer able to walk, so it became this ridiculous thing where, like, the family would walk and then mom would drive. She tried acupuncture, massage, physical therapy, and nothing worked. And it's very obliquely oriented which means that every time she walks or stands, the ball is trying to slide up this way out of her socket. The reason why it's a concern or the reason why it's um, a problem is it's the, one of the leading causes of hip arthritis. Surgeon Joe Williams recommended a periacetabular osteotomy, or PAO surgery. And that procedure is designed to make some cuts around the hip socket and position it to a more normal location. The surgery decreases hip pain, improves hip function, and stops the damage occurring inside the joint that can lead to hip arthritis over time. The main purpose is to preserve the hip joint for as long as possible. For Dot, who had the surgery, that was good news. My pain is significantly less. I got to keep my joint. <laughs> now, this mother of three is able to keep up with her kids. One in ten hip replacements are because of hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is more common in girls than in boys, and some risk factors for hip dysplasia include being the firstborn and being born breech. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Feldman, Local 5 News.